Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Money Mindset and today we are going to finish up on the types of wealth. So we are going to do the spiritual wealth, the intellectual wealth, generational, community and time wealth. And so this is the last episode when it comes to the types of wealth. So welcome back. My name is Lois Odor. Phineas Temba. So uh, quickly we are going to base on spiritual wealth. And uh, if I can describe it uh, boldly, spiritual wealth, uh, uh, this is a type of uh, wealth whereby you build and you consider your intimacy with God. Yeah. Uh, the God, the Father, your Creator. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the Bible itself says, uh, what uh, shall profit a man uh, to gain the whole universe uh, but to lose his soul oh, at the yeah. end. Mm -hmm. So therefore, um, our body is a spirit, mm -hmm. so it means out of dust we came, mm -hmm. and in dust we shall go. we shall go. Mm -hmm. So it means there is a place meant for us yeah. after leaving this universe. Mm -hmm. So and that is the spiritual world. Yeah. So we shall build our relationship with, with God, God achieve, yeah. so that uh, even if uh, death comes along. Yeah. We are able to conquer because we are rest assured of another life of, of eternity yeah. after leaving uh, the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. So we we should associate with God uh, every now and then. Uh, it can be through prayers, mm -hmm. praying regularly. Yeah. It can be through effective worshiping. It can be through loving one another. Yeah keeping his commandments. Mm -hmm. you know? It can be through doing a soul searching and confessing yeah. our conduct whenever we uh, cross uh, with one another mm -hmm. in this world. And it is also about the action because most of the time people usually think it is about just going to church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is how you affect humanity mm -hmm. just to please God. Yes. So the next uh, type of wealth that we are going to discuss is the intellectual wealth or the wealth of the soul so this is a type of wealth uh, whereby it uh, basically navigates around uh, your mental structure yeah. so it's the wealth of the mind our brain consists of three major things the mind yeah. the will and emotions mm. It is a very, it is very unfortunate to have a billion dollars in your account, mm -hmm. yet you don't have the intellect or the wisdom to invest in yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Our mind, God gave us a mind that is blank. It is just like a hard drive mm -hmm. on a computer. So God gave us uh, the mind with nothing in it. Yeah. So it's up to us to download. Yeah the relevant things in it. Yeah, you decide what you bring inside the drive. Yeah. Uh, so it's about you to learn and unlearn things oftenly uh, for the sake of your mental status. Yeah. So this is uh, this will involve you engaging in uh, relevant activities uh, like uh, your hobbies mm -hmm. which are good for your mental state. Yeah. You can uh, interact, you can travel, you can read good books, yeah. which uh, will boost your intellect. You do things that are good for your mind. Mm. Yeah. Solomon himself, uh, when Solomon was asked by God, what do you want? Solomon was so smart. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if God could have asked uh, any of us yeah. what we wanted, Basically, we could go directly to money. Money. I want money. I want to be wealthy. I want to be rich. Yeah. But Solomon asked for wisdom instead. Mm -hmm. Because it is wisdom that uh, gives us the capability of investing and acquiring wealth. Yes. Through uh, intellect, uh, we get the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding yeah. uh, on how to handle our day to day engagement yeah. in life. So next, we're going to talk about the generational type of wealth. So generational wealth, if you can remember when you started this series, we told you guys that your children's children should be able to benefit from what you're doing right now. Yes. And the Bible says, a good man leaves inheritance for his, his children's children. children. Yeah. 
So it means the inheritance is left now. Yeah. It means at the moment, uh, as a person, you're supposed to ask yourself if you, whatever you are doing mm -hmm. is going to benefit your grandchildren. Yes. If not, you're supposed to strive to have uh, some inheritance for them. When it comes to time, we usually say that time is so precious and most of the time we're really striving to be able to save time so that we can work hard, let's say it is on our jobs or it is on our business so that we can be able to gain more money. But what we forget about time is that it, really, it is really important to be able to manage time. Not managing it in, in such a way that you just want to work extra hard, but being able to have time for other things. Because people usually just try to work so hard and they forget about taking a break, like having vacations and going for holidays. They forget about spending time with their family because they're busy, thinking that time is just about giving your all and working so hard. So even if you are li really trying to work hard, just know that you should try and have time for other things, like taking a break, vacation, and being with your family members. Yes, because uh, mm -hmm. if I can add on that, uh, we usually go to work mm -hmm. for the sake of our family. Yeah. So if our family won't be our own priority, mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, means uh, we are working for nothing. Yeah. Therefore, make sure you have time with your spouse, either your wife or your husband, mm -hmm. having time with your kids, mm -hmm. having time with your family, relatives and friends. Yeah. Yeah. The last type uh, of wealth that you want to focus on is community wealth. Yeah. And uh, this is wealth that is uh, based on our community influence. Mm -hmm. So we must uh, focus on what we do to other people. Because for we to be remembered by the society, mm -hmm. even if we die, uh, there, there has to be an impact uh, or an influence yeah. that we brought in while we were still living. Therefore, if you do good to people around you, mm -hmm. solve their problems, you'll never be forgotten, mm -hmm. no matter what. If you help the poor and the needy within your locality, they will always remember your name. Yeah. If you solve other people's problems, yeah. If you help the destitute, if you solve the drug addiction yeah. in your society, rest assured you'll never be forgotten. If you help people get what they desire, mm -hmm. solve the issues of depression and stress management in your yeah. society, people will be full at your funeral. Yeah, because you'll never be remembered for what you saved, but what you gave. Mm -hmm. Like we don't remember Steve Jobs' billions of dollars in the account. Yeah. We only remember the iPhone he, he gave, gave us. us yeah. So your money will never be remembered. Yeah. But your impact your, your, and your influence for mm -hmm. humanity around you will be on the mark. Yeah, it will never be forgotten. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for watching this episode of The Money Mindset. And on the next episode, we are going to talk to you guys about the misunderstandings that we usually have when it comes to wealth and how to be able to create wealth. I know you. most of you have uh, had desires, just like me. I used to be among you. But uh, I got uh, the wrong information. Mm -hmm. So like I was kind of misled yeah. through irrelevant information. So next time... I'm going to give you what you need to know, things you need to note and uh, to put into practice so that uh, you can be wealthy mentally and even put into practice so that you can start generating wealth. And thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down with any other questions or suggestions that you have. And make sure you share this video with your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe. And click on that notification bell so that you never miss any other episode whenever it comes. Thank, thank you, you for watching, watching The Money, money mindset. mindset. Continue, Continue thinking, thinking big. Salute. Salute. We consider time to be precious and we end up spending most of our time just trying to build ourselves in terms of job. You find that most of the time because you are employed or because you have a... <laughs>
Fimbi sawa, okay, ni kwani ni sehemu.